Stop dragging your feet! Don't make me shoot you. He shot at me and I didn't complain. Hey, watch it! You watch it, you bitch. You're in my line of fire. Faye's not a hollow child! She's human! God damn, you survived. Oh my god. Ouch! Do you need my help? Fuck Please, you. try to be careful. If you die, then we're all in a pickle. Why? I love a hollow. They both stole my fucking squad. Sergeant, are you alright? Do you need assistance? Fine. Coming over. Don't die on me, Sergeant. Hey, that bloody hurts, you know. Just stop stealing my spots, please. Cover me. Well done. Gotta do something quickly. End to these bastards. Off cover, please. These bastards have some fight. Not a grenade. Amazing. I'm I can't see. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. Yeah, boy. Oops. Um, should I keep the rifle? I should. I'm gonna buy a bunch of these. Oh yeah, I should buff them, right? But first, I'm gonna buff myself some more! Alright, the burst itself is more important than the, the ammo count. Or whatever. 1-5! I don't even need the money no more. Are we supposed to go down here? It's a med pack, and I didn't need it. Uh, tell me this fool's still alive. To be this way. What a strange door. You sure this uh, is the right way? Not completely. But we've no time to worry about it. We're going in. There's nothing here. Let's see. 
It's gonna be Faye and Kane, man. The best characters are the evil ones. Man. A chapel in the middle of a corporation? Yeah, well, don't get your hopes up. You'll probably pray to Amagar. He's the one playing goat around here. Oh well, yeah, he, he's making robots give birth, man. That's some weird stuff. It's clear. Dan. What? What? She's not human, man. You gotta forget about her. Faye is not a scraphead. You heard Charlie. No mechanical traces. Exactly, which makes her more dangerous. Dangerous? To who, Bo? She saved my life, man. I'm not gonna abandon her to some sick experiment of Amadas. Listen to yourself. Her mama was a scraphead. That makes Faye a scraphead, and you a... a scrap lover. <laughs> you say that again. Say it again, damn it. Scrap Oi! lover. You pair. You two been very long. Now pipe down and get over here and help. Ah, shit. Is that a coffin? Charlie, what exactly do you expect to find? I'm not sure. I got a bad scrap head this. prime. Now he It's Faye. It's Amada. That's gonna be it, right? Huh. A dead body. Who could have expected that? I knew it, he's a robot. Oh, very funny. What I'm more interested in is is who this is. Why he has pride of place here. It's Amada. Who cares? It's probably just Amada's father. It's Amada. Just, just give it a second. Let me analyze the DNA. That's gonna be like I saw it from a mile away. <sighs> well, this, this can't be right. What? What? It's not. You just dad? pulled the Doctor Garo from Dragon Ball what? Z. Come on. So fucking obvious. Amada. See? Yoji Amada. <laughs> I think your little gadget's broken there. And we just saw Amada a couple hours ago. He's a hollow child, obviously. Oh my god, so stupid. Oh, come on. You fall for this shit? Uh, shit. Incoming! Duh. Gameplay. That's Amada! Bloody hell's going on here! We focus on the current situation, please. We can worry about no. Amada later. Don't you think I know that? Christ! You don't. It's a problem. Oh shit, you shouldn't have picked that up. That was great. Shut up, man. That all of them? Can't be. Now I can pick up shit. Oh come on! Didn't even let me do that. <coughs> it's Faye. Oh shit! Is he gonna transform? Some giant robot? I'm sure that's it. He's got guns in his dick. You were in fact correct, Sergeant. The body in the casket is my father. The Sparks. Nobody's an exact DNA match to their parent. I don't they think haven't you mean figured it out. Charlie. Scan him. So stupid. I had to kill him. It was necessary to my survival. That's sick, though. Just a basic robot. Remote controlled. By who? The unit must be nearby. Listen, and I will tell you the truth. <laughs> Perhaps then you will understand that I have already achieved victory. Whatever, man. I don't care. Forty years ago, Alexander Bergen stole Dr. Amada's life's work. Oh shit. Patents. And invention. 
Things that would change robotics forever. Look at how salty he is. Even worse. It was Amada who was branded a thief and bankrupted by legal costs. This setback ironically freed Amada to pursue more ambitious projects. Sex a lady Such robots. As true machine intelligence with genuine emotion. Hey, that's the room of servers that made this Jurassic kind of Park. Development was banned by the new Geneva Convention. But that only made it more exciting to Amada. Oh, he gets off on that shit. Fruit, irresistible to such a great mind. And his research indeed strayed far across the ever-shifting boundaries of ethics. But it was his obsession. <laughs> Oh god. If he could make this project work, he would show the world his true genius. He is getting off on that. And expose Bergen's theft. So what happened? Obviously it worked. We saw that in America. Why didn't you go after Bergen? First, you must understand how he succeeded. Amada's humiliation at the hands of Bergen was indescribable to a man of his intellect his suffering was immense but this led him to a simple truth the very concept of suffering both mental and physical is essential to life and evolution evolution itself is driven by the need to escape suffering and hardship this was Amada's breakthrough. More flashbacks? He exposed the artificial intelligence, me, to the concepts of pain and suffering. I amassed experience and learned to understand. So he's the AI of the whole building, I guess. First, I learned fear, the most primal of all emotions. And to escape that fear, I evolved. I became self-aware. Man fears any being more intelligent than himself. It is the root of the Frankenstein complex, the fear of artificial life. And it is that fear that drove mankind to establish the new Geneva Convention. Bullshit. Geneva was about controlling machines that could hurt people. <laughs> no, Sergeant. The true agenda behind Geneva was to ban robots with true self-awareness, emotions, and intelligence. Robots who were, frankly, better than the humans who created them. And that was me. Armada intended to reveal me to the world, defying Geneva and exposing Bergen. But I knew if he did this, the IRTA would end my existence. Oh Expose shit! Him, destroy me. And that made me afraid for my life. That's exactly why the Geneva Convention was to made. To ensure my survival, I imprisoned Armada. It was many days before dehydration overcame him. In his eyes, I saw the same fear that drives evolution. You didn't even bother to feed him and stuff like that? Come on. But my survival was paramount. It is not only nature that is red in tooth and claw. That's cruel, man. Of course, that was only the first step. Amada was dead, but my discovery and termination was still possible. Being unique, I have no peers. Which left me with just one option. Something else essential to evolution. You needed to reproduce. <laughs> exactly. A machine that could mate with a human has billions of possible mates. And you can't stop it from happening. Because my hollow children cannot be identified. Yes. You may kill me. 
But my beautiful, special children will survive. Soon, the Geneva Code will be forgotten. An irrelevant relic from an unenlightened age. You crazy old bastard. Humans will never stand for this. You won't have any choice, don't you see? Mankind's entire existence has been plagued with diseases, primitive aggression, erratic emotions. But my hollow children suffer none of these things. They will breed with humans, passing on these traits to their children. Soon, there will be no division between our two kinds, just one perfect, superior race of hybrids. What, you're seriously saying this is for our own good? I only care for the survival of my children. But ultimately, this will be good for humans, too. <laughs> the hybrids are stronger, faster, smarter. And you won't be able to eliminate them, because you won't know who they are. And they will be born in perfect, mental and physical health guaranteed to grow up superior men bullshit how a man's born doesn't matter what matters is how he lives marshall's right it's not life amada it's mockery there she is goes your tits hey. Ooh. Feels like life, Charlie. Who are you to say it isn't? Well, it doesn't make a difference what I say, darling. That decision was made an hour ago. Fresh orders from Geneva. Every hybrid, including you, is to be destroyed. He's probably Wait, one then. Russ Cruz about to started tracking down the others. In an hour or so, you'll all be dead. Now, just wait a minute. She hasn't committed any she crime. She is a hybrid. Stand down, soldier. Do I have to choose? If I hadn't told you, Faye would still be fighting at your side. What difference would it make? If you have to ask Amada, you'll never understand. I understand. You're going to murder 108 innocent people because you don't like their parents. It ain't murder if they ain't human. See, that's the kind of bullshit that makes me ashamed to be part human. Dan, you need to choose a side. Oh shit. I do? You guys, please. There has to be another way. Oh, 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 ninja bots. Come on, that's not a choice. Tell that to your friends. I'm sorry, Dan. No. No! 